And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, moving swiftly on to our second fight of the evening. It's Thailand versus Thailand at 60 kilos. In the red corner, we have Yod Dead Pet Jinda. Jinda, sorry. He's 18 years old. He's 170 centimeters tall. He's had 58 fights, 42 wins, 14 losses, and two draws. On his last four fights on max, he's had two wins and two losses. He trains out of the Pet Jinda gym. He's trained by San Ratchet and he's managed by Paul Sakda. And then moving on to our fighter in the red corner, his name is Platong Sojo Rodchai. He's 17 years old. He's 165 centimeters tall. He's had 46 fights, 29 wins, 14 losses, and three draws. And his last four fights on max, he scored a TKO win in the sorry a KO win in the second round, uh, one draw and two defeats. He trains out of the Saw Jaw Rochai Gym. He's managed by Pan Matong, and he sorry he's trained by Pan Matong, and he's managed by Or Sukon. I'm a bit blown away by our last fight on the card. And funnily enough, Yod Dead in the blue corner is from Compayax Gym, in, who was in the red corner who scored the TKO, stop, TKO win over Pet Will Woods. So, wow. So maybe we'll get some crisp punching from Yod Dead as well. Yeah, we see a lot of the Petchindai guys. Um, they're actually uh, serving, serving soldiers. And they're always come in great shape. That makes so much sense because... The, the boxing po program in the, in, the, in the armed forces over here is actually really good. So far, a nice feel out from both guys here. Very slow start to this second fight tonight. Snapping low kick from Yot Dead in the blue corner. Strong right kick from Platon. Yot Dead coming back with one of his own. And when you were fighting, did you like to take a slow approach or did you like to come out right away and get it started? Man, it was kill or be killed for me. I just went for it. Yeah. Especially on match, you couldn't really waste too much time. I don't know, it, it depends, it depends, really. I think it depended on the day, depending on the opponent. What about yourself? Uh, I always came out right away because I didn't want to play the game with the tie, so I knew that if I could get the jump on him early, it'd be hard for them to catch up. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I find that a lot of foreigners in Thailand have had a lot of success from just taking it to the ties and not playing the game. Very rare that you'll see a foreigner that can really play the game so well. I think the only ones that spring to mind for me would be Fabio Pinto and Damian Alamos, to be honest. Yeah, Danny Bill, that was it. Yes, yes, yeah, sorry, Danny Bill as well. Yeah. Th throughout history, I mean, there's been no one else. It's hard to play the game with people, with someone who's been doing it for since they were kids and it's almost in their blood and DNA. Yeah, you're of asking, course. You're asking for a bad day. Yeah, of course. Strong right body kick from Yacht Dead. He actually had a bit of success there with some punt with some straight rights to flat on. It is a little unnerving the way Yacht Dead is sitting up against the ropes as much as he is. I think he's just waiting for Platon to come forward and just get him on a on the counter with one of those straight rights. Whoa! You might be right. He just threw a beautiful one there. Hooking a the body shot there from your dead. Oh, wow, oh, nice jab and straight knee. Yeah, you're right, man. The, the Pet Shinjar Jin, they have real good boxing. Sets their attacks up very well. Oh, very nice. And, it, and like you said, it really catches the ties off guard. If you have crisp boxing, it sets you a mile ahead of them. It's just one element of their game where they're not they're not the they're not the best. They're more kickers and knees and clinches. See there you go, straight right again and followed by an uppercut straight into the clinch. You can kind of look at Red's face, it almost has a bewildered look on his face. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. End of round one. Max the global fight! Okay, coming into the second round of tonight's second 
bout of the evening. In the blue corner, you're dead, and in the red corner, Platon. What are your thoughts on that round? I mean, we said it quite a lot already. We were talking about the boxing from the Pet Jindar gym. Your dead has really set his attacks up so well in this op in the opening round, and just re like you said, just overwhelmed Platon a lot. What are you telling Platon in the red corner to do now in this round? I'm telling him to do what he's doing. He's got to be aggressive. Get in there and clinch because he doesn't want to take any more punches. Like that. This is what he needs to do. And there you go. He's taking your advice. You jumped in his corner and in, 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 in around one, didn't you? Yeah, I snuck in there real quick. Because you can just see, he, he, we were talking about it before the end of the round. He looked overwhelmed in his eyes when he was getting those combinations. And if you've got a if fighting an opponent that has strong boxing, the way to, to nullify it is jumping into the clinch. But to be honest, I think Platon's got a, got a, he's got a long night ahead of him if he's going to out clinch. You're dead. Yeah. You're dead. You just look at his body language. He's so relaxed. He's controlling Platon really well. If you got probably just got caught off guard when Platon turned him in the clinch at the beginning of the round, but he's doing very well. See, look at that. The counters from your dead as Platon comes in, comes in with the boxing is fantastic. Jumping knee from your dead. Platon doing well to hang on to him there. Platon almost looks desperate to get into the clinch. It's not even a skill sort of thing. It's like, oh my God, let me get away from this box and grab it. And if anything, sometimes, unless you set it up, that can that can cost you. It's a bit of a risk because you're walking straight onto a big power shot like that elbow there. Let's see how it works out for him. Oh, yeah. there you go. That counter left hook has worked so well for your dead in this round. Oh, strong left knees from your dead down by the commentary box here. Oh See, there you goodness. go again. Wow, look at that. But Platon doing really well to outkick his opponent there. One of the kicks landed a little bit low. Oh, big move. Strong clinch and knee from Yoddead. I'm very impressed by Yoddead's boxing tonight. What about yourself? Oh, yeah. It, very, very impressed. Wow. As you said, he throws a beautiful hook. I mean, him and Pompeyak, just fantastic boxing tonight. I, we, we need to see more of this on, on, on Max and the Muay Thai in general, really. Yeah. And just... Beautiful oh, wow. Uppercut. Fantastic. And then followed by a right elbow. Straight right from your dead. My goodness. This is awesome. Wow. Fantastic. End of round two. <laughs> Max. The global flight. Okay. Coming into the third and final round. I mean, I'm not even going to go through the standard uh, 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 tradition we have here. I'm just going to say, what, what, what does Platon have to do? Just jump in the clinch. That's what his corner is telling him. They're like, look, just close the range and just jump into the clinch. But I tell you what, we just had a little discussion of it off air. Can you imagine a, a, tie, a load of ties in a few years that are like Yod Sanquai's and then they just have amazing boxing like you know, Virapon from the Golden Era or someone like Nicky Holskin from Glory. Yeah. That's just a nightmare for any foreigner. You know, anybody fighting them on, on Max or anywhere, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think you might be in for a treat on Sunday. I'm not sure, but I think so because you're going to see Kurt Tyler and he might be the closest thing we have to that. Okay. I'll be looking out for him for sure. Here we go in this third and final round. Both boxes coming out very fast. You got to imagine, Platon's down two rounds to, to nothing right now, and he just got to go for broke. Yeah, I'd have to, I'd have to agree. On an unofficial score, I'd definitely give the first two rounds to your dead. Oh, oh wow! The big wow. 
I don't know if that was a jab or a hook from Platon, but that really shook your dead head back. Is your dead getting careless? Wow. Maybe, maybe he wants to, well, his corner is saying go forward a bit. Maybe they think that he's down around. Wow, interesting now. Tables could be turning here. Your dead still pushing forward, needs to keep his hands up, respect Platon Power a bit. Wow, good counter there from Platon throwing the right hand as your dead through the left hook. Strong jumping knee from your dead to end Platon's lock. Wow, yeah, you're right, your dead is getting careless here. Yeah, I, I, wow. It, what a shame if he throws this away. It would be, yeah, very much so. Up an elbow attempt from your dead. He just looks to me a little. Oh wow! Good turn in the clinch from your dead. Platon's corner going mental at him here, telling him to go forward. Wow, left hooks from both fighters. Oh, oh right hand from your dead, left hook from your dead. Platon's still on his feet, I don't know how. Amazing. Platon's corner going crazy at him, telling him to kick. Come on, go forward, go forward, kick, 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 kick. Save. Oh, wow, big right hand from your dead, jumping kick Whoa. from your dead. Locking him up in the clinch. Oh, fantastic technique here. 30 seconds to go. Who's going to take this fight? Your dead from the blue corner with Platon from the red corner. Oh, and that's a the clinch for Platon. Wow. Wow. I can't call this. This is amazing here. Really back and forth. Fight of the night so far. Oh, both, without a doubt. But both fighters trading left hooks there before they enter the clinch. Stabbing knees from your dead. My question is, why didn't Platon do this earlier? Why oh. wait? Why, oh, why? I don't know. He should have had you in the corner. That's why. Why, think. why? Wait. <laughs> what a fight. Fantastic performance from both boxers. Here we go. See some of the replays here. Probably the best round of the fight. Very 50-50, very even for both fighters. Both trading, good punches, good kicks. I'm not even going to call it. I'm not going to give it to any of them. I was really entertained by that. What about yourself? Oh, yeah. Uh, it was just fantastic display. Oh. What a chin on Platon. Wow. Yeah. And over we go to the bonus round and the judges' decision. Before we go to the judges' decision, let's check out the bonus round. สนับสนุนโดย Max Muay Thai Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max Muay Thai Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max Muay Thai Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ Bonus for blue and red corner. Max Muay Thai Facebook page. Boom dang, let's do it again. Everyone, one bonus by. All right, ladies and gentlemen. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for the winner. Draw, Samagap.